Thank you for being here on behalf of the family. We are here to honor the life of Leanne. <coughs> As humans, we experience many milestone moments throughout our lives here on Earth. Joys and sorrows often coexist. So today is one of those mile marker days. And I pray that today will provide the opportunity for healthy mourning alongside of a family so genuinely full of love. For those of you that may not know me or haven't seen me in some years, I'm Ashley, Danny's daughter, Leanne's cousin. And I only have joy-filled moments of Leanne. So maybe that's why I'm standing here before you. She had a distinct laugh and a smile that I remember vividly from my childhood and a warm heart. I look back through our messages in recent years and one stuck out that she sent shortly after my ex left, yet no one else knew that he had left yet. She may have been more spiritually in tune than we all knew. She wrote, I believe you are a warrior. You are standing there with great faith. No one will bring you down because God is the one who sustains you. Most any of our interactions were actually only ever about faith and our love of dogs. Our final communication was after Oompa passed. She wanted the family to know that she watched the service via live stream and that Oompa, or Uncle Bobby as she called him, was someone she always respected and honored for how he extended his love to her and her siblings and that she found him to be a safe haven. <clears throat> so these are the things that I had in my mind as I was preparing for this day and I encourage you all to keep those kind of thoughts close to you as well because everything else just clutters the mind. Allow yourself to bring her smile and her laughter into your memory and I pray that that will bring a smile into your own soul, especially in the days and weeks ahead. The older I get and the more people God puts into my life, it's clear that there's no such thing as avoiding hard things. Maybe that sounds like I'm stating the obvious, but I say that to say this, not everyone has a family like this one. In fact, most people don't have a family like this one. The hard days are unavoidable, but please don't overlook how many open shoulders there are to cry on, just right here today. Or how many people that you have to cry out to in your low moments. The average person doesn't have a fraction of what this family holds in love. And sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the little things. Something was said we wish we could take back. A small misunderstanding turns into a big disagreement. All these little things that really don't matter on days like today. So my beloved brothers and sisters, let everyone be quick to hear, be a careful and thoughtful listener. Be slow to speak, a speaker of carefully chosen words and slow to anger, patient, reflective and forgiving. James 1.19. So I had the opportunity to sit down with Karen last week and we reflected. In the early part of her visit here this time, she experienced one of those mile marker moments that she'll have in her memory probably forever. A trip down the Farmington River in a tube wasn't a new experience, but this particular time illustrated or presented what I thought was a metaphoric illustration. Rivers or water in general are much like our lives. Sometimes it's so calm and refreshing and other times it's unbearably cold and it's hard to keep our heads above the waves. So in Karen's most recent experience, being tossed from the tube and losing her glasses, when she finally surfaced, she returned on the rest of her journey with a heightened sense. So as she shared this story with me, it seemed clear to me that our creator provided her with this opportunity to bring clarity to her relationship with her sister and life in general. Not having her glasses anymore, there wasn't much to see, no distractions, just hearing and feeling. 
but only God knows how long we have here on earth. And sometimes we're going to float on through, and other times, probably many more times, we need to grab the hand that's reaching out to put us back on the tube. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, whether we receive that love here on earth or in our eternity. I'll now call up Tyson to share a reading from John 14, 1 to 6, and then Steph will come up and read after that. John 14, 1 through 6. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. <clears throat> 